A British biking race is turning heads over its attempt to create a more, quote, inclusive racing environment. The organizer said, quote, goodbye to gendered race categories. The men's race and the women's race are no more. With this radical rethink of what a race could look like, resulting in trans cyclists who once competed as men to take first and second place, leaving a young mother in third. Here to react, Fox News contributor and War on the West author, Douglas Murray. I see you shaking your head. This is actually, I want to see where you're going to go with this. I have some thoughts. What do you make of this all-inclusive race? Well, this is, um, this is all too predictable. Remember a few, uh, a few years ago I said that the moment that you allow men, biological men, into women's sports, it's the end of women's sports. And uh, since then, we've seen things like the Leah Thomas case, a swimmer who took first place in, um, in, in, the, in, the, in the swimming. Now we have yet another case, by the way, this isn't at all uncommon, this has happened a number of times, of cyclists, male cyclists, of course, beating female cyclists. Uh, it seems that there are some people who think that we will not be a free society until biological men stand on all of the top podiums in every sport. So it's like a transgender athlete number one. Great, what a terrific advance for uh, minority rights. Now it's a podium one and podium two. That's fantastic. So until all the women are cleared from the podium, it seems that we won't really be living in a free and equal society. And I, I suspect that quite a lot of people viewing would agree with me there's something wrong with that. So I have a little bit of a counterintuitive thought on this. I want to see your reaction. It is, sadly, the inevitable extinguishment of women's sports. Yeah, absolutely. Doing away with the women's category. But when it comes to this British bike race, at least there's a level of honesty to it. They are now saying you can't be a man and enter the women's category and win. Instead, right. We're all in the same category. This is like some of the uh, music awards shows and things that are trying to drop, you know, best male and best female performer and uh, try to say, oh, it's all gender neutral. In the end, somebody suffers, don't they, for this? And in the case of sports, it's going to keep being women. Men have a biological advantage. Even if you have so-called transitioned later on, if you've grown up male, if you have a male bone structure and bone density and much, much more, if you had testosterone uh, if, through your upbringing, uh, you're going to be at an advantage. And so, you know, they, they can kind of try to cover it over and pretend, oh, no, we just don't really care for male or female categories. That's just the same thing. You're going to end up with the same results. Men are going to keep trouncing women. It's the end of women's sports. And I don't think either women or men should be accepting of that. I agree. And I think it, the trans athlete's about to soon learn who wins on the medal podium as well, yeah. now that there's one category, at least in this one race. Before we go, uh, really quickly, the Queen's final day of her 70th mm. Platinum Jubilee. What's mm. our big takeaway? Uh, it's been an amazing occasion, uh, not least because it's been just an outpouring of admiration and love for the Queen on the streets of Britain to see those thousands and thousands of people uh, going down Pall Mall, uh, looking at the, the balcony. You think, well, no way Britain's going to be a republic anytime soon. You know, uh, this was just a really happy occasion to celebrate an extraordinary 70 years on the throne of, of a Queen who has got the love of her people, not least by not intervening in politics, not making herself a political figure but keeping herself as a figurehead of a nation even though it's gone through amazing change she's been there and the people this week have shown their love and appreciation for that longevity and nonpartisanship yeah. not easy to pull off nope <laughs> um as you know douglas is brilliant has a lot of thoughts i think you should want to hear he spent an hour with me roughly an hour with me on the will kane podcast talking about his new book the war on the west go check that out douglas always good to see you great pleasure